Hello, this is Aloisa with Math Leopard, and welcome to the music of the spheres. For this first video in the series, I'm going to focus on the music of our home, Earth. Recall that the frequency is defined as the number of cycles per second, the units of which are termed hertz. Our first calculation will be the shortest cycle associated with the Earth, a single rotation about its axis, or one 24-hour period. Hence, the frequency for one day on Earth is given by one cycle for every 24 hours. Since the units necessary for hertz are cycles per second and not hours, we first transform hours into minutes with a conversion factor, one hour per 60 minutes. Now, translating minutes into seconds, we multiply by the conversion factor, one minute per 60 seconds. As you can see, both the units of hours and the units of minutes reduce, leaving us with a frequency of one cycle for every 86,400 seconds, or 1.1574 times 10 to the negative fifth power hertz. This is far below audible, so let's raise it up 24 octaves by multiplying our frequency by 2 to the 24th power. So if your lyre had a string of this frequency, you would have its length 24 times. What we get is a frequency of 194.180-7407 hertz, approximately G. Now let's increase the size of our cycle to that of one year. We note that the frequency for one year is one cycle every 365.25635416 days. Translating into hours, we multiply by the conversion factor one day per 24 hours, then from hours to minutes with the conversion factor one hour per 60 minutes. Finally, we translate into seconds with the conversion factor one minute per 60 seconds. Noting once again that we can reduce the units of days, hours, and minutes leaves us with a frequency of one cycle every 31,558,149 seconds, approximately 3.1 times 10 to the negative eighth hertz. In order to hear this tone, we rise up 32 octaves by multiplying through by two to the 32nd power. This produces a frequency of 136.096-9332 hertz, approximately C sharp, otherwise termed the ohm frequency. The next cycle associated with the Earth is the precession of the equinoxes through the zodiac, or the wobble of the Earth's axis. Halfway through the precessional cycle, the tilt of the Earth will be oriented such that winter, as opposed to summer, will occur at aphelion, when we're furthest from the sun. However, our current orientation will return after the cycle completes. The frequency of this zodiacal journey is once every 25,920 years. This is an expansive time frame, so let's see how many seconds this amounts to. Our first conversion is from years into days, given as one year for every 365.256 days. Then, translating from days into hours, we multiply by one day per 24 hours. From hours into minutes has the conversion one hour per 60 minutes. And finally, from minutes to seconds gives us the final conversion of one minute per 60 seconds. We then reduce the units of years, days, hours, and minutes to arrive at the frequency of one cycle for every 8.1798642892 times 10 to the 11th seconds, or 1.22251417 times 10 to the negative 12th hertz. In order to hear this lowest of frequency tones, it's necessary to raise it up 47 octaves. So multiplying by 2 to the 47th power, we arrive at the audible frequency of 172.053-5737 hertz, approximately an F. So for the Earth, the tones we have are the low ohm tone, which grounds us to the Earth and all that is natural. Then we have the middle ohm tone, one octave higher, that is somatic, grounding us within our bodies. Up one more octave, the high ohm frequency is more ethereal in nature. 
taken together, we have om unison, which is calming and grounding. Next, the om octave, low and middle om taken together, is physically grounding. Then high om octave, including middle om and a high om, integrates the energy field with the body. Middle Earth Day and Om join together to produce a highly stimulating and energetic tone. And finally, the Middle Zodiac and Om produce a highly expansive and dispersive tone. Thanks so much for watching. The next video I release will be the music of our moon. Please subscribe to be updated when it's posted. See you next time.